Hello and welcome to the Studio Brutal video here. I'm going to show you how to make this techno sequence in Ableton's analog device. Uh, there's a rack, I've made it so you have to recreate it yourself. There's a free rack in the description below. So yeah, if you go and get that and then you can follow along. And please, while you're there, give us a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And yeah, the rack's totally free. So yeah, get that and uh, yeah, we'll get into it. So yeah, uh, a sound like this, what you want is it wants to be um, it wants to be detuned. Let me just solo. So if I take the detuning off, it sounds like that. Um, it's just two saw waves, oscillator one and oscillator two, on analog, both switched on. Uh, they both got a sub um, uh, octave, a set of seventy percent. You can turn that up if you like. So there's that extra oscillator under it as well. But then I'm detuning both of them in opposite directions. So it's as nasty um, and detuned as possible. And that is that is a large part of the sound. Another part of the sound is this glide, which is here. If I switch it off, that high note is just um, it's good to know. that high note there is just playing like, like you play on the piano. But if I switch the glide on, it slides up, which is quite a nice um, sound, like a like more like a trombone playing it. And you can set that here in the glide mode. Um, but yeah, it's all in the rack, so you don't set this up. And another one is the filter envelope. Uh, it's distorted the filter envelope, and it's really short. Uh, decay. You can cut it short on the decay, it's one of the macro controls. I'll go through them in a minute. But yeah, so you want a filter envelope, really tight, detune saw waves and glide and then play some high notes. And then, and that's, that is the large part of the sound. And after it's distorted here, if I take the distortion off, sounds like that. And then it's, there's some echo, one side is a bit tighter than the other and the other side's a bit loose so you get um, uh, a bit of a stereo width to it and then there's some reverb and that is that is it uh, yeah, one thing I, sh I should say as well before I go through the macros is the MIDI this is not a one bar loop um, if I show you here it is um, That is, a, that is a one bar loop and what I'm doing is I'm playing five notes and then I'm cutting it short and that's quite important it's like uh, as if you were in front of a, a step sequencer and instead of having 16th six, instead of having 16 sixteenth notes you just have five like if you had a three or three you just turn the number down to five and so you get this rolling um, MIDI effect this rolling effect that you get um, as if it's sort of uh, going on forever, if you know what I mean. And you can see here, uh, the bar it cuts, it's much shorter than the bar. And then you can just paste this out as long as you like, and it won't re-trigger on the bar. It's just gonna keep like rolling. Um, and yeah, and in the MIDI as well, basically some, most notes are around the root note, which is A here, and then I've just stuck one up quite high, which um, affects the glide as well, and also, um, I'm going to set some of the, I'll show you in a minute on the macros, the, um, this is triggered by note. So you can set it so only the high notes come through, but yeah, I'll just go through those next. So yeah, you want to set the MIDI up so it's a rolling sequence, like 5 or 6 16th notes, and detune um, saw waves, and then echo and reverb. So yeah, these are the, these are the settings. First one is frequency, which is the overall, um, filter if I lift it up everything comes through if I put it right down only the high notes come through which is quite nice so you can if you want to introduce the the sequence you can just pull this up slowly like that um, and then there's resonance which can really scream especially if you use it with cut off And then this is the decay, which I mentioned before. FEG is the filter envelope one. You can see it move. You'll see this filter envelope move, which is quite a cool sequence when you open it up. And use uh, resonance as well. And it's quite nice to cut it short as well. And this fourth one is the one that takes the high note and lets it through the filter more. Set that to default, yeah. So this and this will um, is how much 
uh, a note will go through the, 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 the filter, but the higher the note, the more it goes through. So if I turn it all the way up, I'll get everything. And you can play with the filter cut off and this to get quite nice sequences. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's it. You can play, play and tweak them. And then on the bottom, I've got the, uh, the space effects, which is basically the echo, wet, dry, and reverb. Wet, dry, decay. So yeah, so if you want to build the sound, you can build it on these. Like just whack the feedback and decay up. So yeah, that is it. That's it for the macros, and um, yeah, you can really like tweak the sequence. So yeah, that's it. Um, detuned uh, two detuned saw waves, uh, tight filter envelope. Uh, make the high, make some high notes that glide, and make them stick through the filter envelope a bit more. Then distort it, echo, and reverb. Uh, but yeah, if you can get this, you can get this for free. It's in the um, description, like I said. And there's some other presets as well, um, which I'll just play you now. So yeah, there's some other pulse width modulation, other sounds made all in uh, analog, basically. Some of them are sequences like that. Some of them are nasty to tune sounds. But yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, go and get that in the description below and please give us a like and subscribe and any questions at all or comments or requests for uh, like future racks or anything like that, please let me know in the comments below and uh, yeah, good luck with your music making and have a good day. Take care. Goodbye.